guys so today basically I'm gonna show you guys how to create the Drift Kings AE86 it's personal 86 so we can't exactly make it the way it is because the game only allows you to do certain things with the car so right now we're gonna jump into the garage and we're gonna start with what we can do to the car with the mechanics so supposedly his car has 217 I'm looking at it in the laptop right now so so his horsepower is like 217 PS uh, I put that on Google and supposedly that's 214 horsepower so that's the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna raise the power close to 214 Let's see. All right, perfect. Two fourteen, and his torque is really don't understand. It says twenty two point nine kmg, so hopefully that's close to what I have right now. Um, for weight, let's see what we have. For weight, doesn't really say, but we're gonna go to suspension. See how close we can get to suspension. His final drive is 4.7. I don't even know if I could change that real quick. Uh, it's 4.7. So let's, his final drive is 4.7. That's what, I'm doing all this through Google. So yeah, you could all, if you want to make sure this is right, you can go to Google, you search Drift King's personal car, and this is going to pop up the whole blog for it. 4.7 is his final drive, so we got that part ready. Alright, let's see what else. I'm trying to do suspension. Alright, um, right, supposedly the front is 3.5 and the rear is 3.5. Alright, so for tires, I see so far he has some sports, so I'm going to leave them that. Sports hard, it's fine. Alright, so let's leave that alone. I'm trying to figure out the weight of his car. Alright, so supposedly his car is 2,116 pounds. Alright, so that's so this, yeah, this the closest I can get it. Alright. See what else? All right, I'm just gonna assume it's really low, so we're gonna leave it like that. All right, because it doesn't really show me. So we're gonna leave this just like that, because it really doesn't tell me that much. So we got 214 horsepower, 185 torque, 2,112 pounds. Tires are gonna be sport hard. The front and rear suspension height is gonna be 335. All this other stuff is not really showing me at all. Um, the final drive is 4.7. So that's for that's for the settings for mechanical. Now we got to go for the physical. Just trying like all right for wheels. The, the wheels that he has is some. Let me see if I find that name real quick. I've seen the name of this. They're not in the game though. Alright, so the wheels that he has is some work masters. And we don't have that in the game, so. Okay, let's see. I don't want to pick the whole car. I'm just gonna have to put a decal in the front. And the hood, it's gonna be green. It has to be green. It has like some carbon fiber green. Uh, 
That's all I have. So now we're going to race in the famous Tsukubo circuit, right here, Tsukubo circuit, and his time that he raced a Honda type R, the old ones, and his time was um, 1 minute 8 seconds, so let's see what we can come close to. doesn't look exactly like his car but at least it has a green hood you know it's white with some white rims the game doesn't have everything that you need to make exact throttle so let's see how close we get to one minute eight seconds Looks good though. Oh wow, that's a bad start already. Definitely stiffer than, than stock. Definitely way tail happy. It's gonna be the lap. So I had to switch the tires up. I noticed that the Drift King didn't have no stock tires on, you know. He had some sport tires, but they weren't no hard tires, you know, they were grippy tires. So I put some sport soft on these, and this is the difference. This is gonna be the outcome of my time. His fastest time, the Drift King's fastest time in his personal car that I seen on YouTube when he was racing the Integra Type R was one one oh eight five. So I'm on one, my fastest lap so far is 1088. So let's see if we can get that 1085. Yeah, 1082. Damn. Oh man, we beat.